Okay, you guys, I've recovered from altitude sickness. <clears throat> I had kind of a headache. I mean, I did have a headache pretty bad. Like when we arrived here around seven, nah, like 5 p.m. And yeah, it was getting worse. And then I took some, let's see, some of this, some acetazolamide. I guess it helped. I was drinking water and managed to scarf down a small bowl of soup before going to bed. The cook made me like a whole plate of rice and I couldn't eat any of it. So I felt pretty bad. <laughs> um, but it's good to be recovered and feeling better. We'll see what happens. We're at like almost 14,000 feet and we're going over Larky Pass today, which is over 15,000. And it's supposed to be amazing. Um, it's supposed to be very windy at the top. So maybe we'll stay five minutes then head back down or continue heading down the other way. So yeah, that's the sickness update. That's the drama that's been going on. Didn't sleep a whole lot last night. Kind of see the bags under my eyes. But we're getting to it. All right. Peace. All right, we're nearing Larky Pass. Ooh, it's tough to breathe up here. We're almost at 15,000 feet. So those guys, I don't know, those are tall. 20 plus thousand feet. Going real slow up this thing real slow just breathing <laughs> almost there all right cheers Snacking right now on some puffed rice. Got Bradley coming in hot. Yo. How was it? Like right there or something. Challenged me. It is challenging. Yeah. Just puffed rice and. Wow. Oh, no, stop, stop looking around. 
Yeah. Check it out, y'all. Gotta work for it, though. Gotta get broken first. <laughs> Gotta break down. No, no clouds really. Whoa. Took a climb to get here. We'll rest for five. Put up some prayer flags for good luck. And continue on. Ooh wee. <laughs> All right, rest. Check it out. The prayer prayer flag ceremony is happening right now. They're everywhere. Going down, be going down, baby. Oh, all right. Oh, we got a lake here. I'm gonna die pointing me to a lake. All right, all right, okay. Okay, come here, chicken. Kukara. Look at a Quarantined myself in a tent for some shade. I've been handling, managing some <clears throat> altitude sickness for the last day. And yeah, it's rough. I'm feeling better now. I'm able to eat. Got some soup going up there next to my head. And yeah, just been feeling like real drained, real low energy, um, headaches, feeling like I want to throw up and poop everywhere. And yeah, it's not a ton of fun. But we made it to the top of <clears throat> Larky Pass. Even my voice isn't working right. Uh, we made it to the top of Larky Pass. And so now we're heading back down for a few days. So I can already feel it getting better. Just need to get to the ground closer to sea level. Lama Dai, he's here now. He just carried my pack for like two or three miles downhill. And yeah, that's the status right now. More updates to come. All right, bye. All right, your boy David here. Uh, Lama Dai is still carrying my pack. Still feeling a bit sick, 
but it's getting better the farther we move down and yeah the pack carrying is making the hike much more enjoyable uh, some of the scenes today some of the scenery has just been outstanding and I felt like I haven't been able to fully enjoy it but you know that's where I was so I'm accepting that took some pics look at the pics later and yeah making our way down to this gorge check it out all right we'll see you when we see you all right so because I don't have a pack I'm pretty far ahead of the crew well there's Bradley but I wanted to introduce y'all to my new horse friend. He's walking away, but we're good friends. That's Don Quixote. Just a beautiful pony. Lots of ponies out here. Lots of horses. I'll see you guys later. All right. Just wanted to introduce y'all. If I meet any other friends, uh, I'll be sure to connect you guys. I just really enjoy connecting, like people and animals, and you know, forming the initial relationship and just networking. Just doing some networking out here, so stay tuned. Okay, check it out. We've reached Beam Tong. The village of Beam Tong is ahead. And took a long day's hike to get here. Um, yeah, check it out. Beam Tong. Wasn't on the map. I was hoping it existed. And it does, so let's go check it out.